put 110% into everything you do, even if you fail. And if you fail, fail hard. These are the words of Marine Corporal Robert Healy that have echoed through Isaiah Wright's head his entire life. At the age of 13, Isaiah joined a program called the Young Marines, which is essentially an ROTC program for youth. This experience undoubtedly shaped Isaiah into the person he is today. Isaiah is accustomed to waking up at dawn and being pushed to his mental, physical, and emotional limits. When he first joined the program, he could not run a mile. He knew that if it was his dream to join the Marines, he would have to be pushed, and he was. Uh, Corporal Healy used to run next to him and scream and run and empower him until he could run the mile and he trained harder and ran faster and got stronger. After months of hard training, Isaiah was asked to join the color guard as a rifleman. And this was a really, really unique experience because he was two ranks lower than the traditional rank for someone to be on the color guard. Mm -hmm. And as a rifleman, it is your job to protect the American flag, which is a job of honor and pride. And Isaiah was passionate and happy to take the job. And at this point in his life, it was his biggest dream to join the Marines, and he felt that nothing could stop him. But all of this changed when Isaiah had the chance to talk to some young men who had just come back from serving their first term in the Marines. And he noticed something. They were worn down, they weren't happy, they were uninspired, and more than that, they had lost the sense of joy for life. And Isaiah had to ask himself one pivotal question that would end up changing his life forever, and that was, what is it that brings me joy? After asking himself this question, Isaiah decided to leave the structured world of the military behind and chase a completely different dream. <laughs> Isaiah took a leap of faith and decided to value passion over money, he decided to value joy over stability and go to college to pursue a career in acting. Um, he had to trust himself, and he asked to also trust in God to get himself through this change. After talking to Isaiah, it is clear that he is who he is because of this radiant positivity that he embodies. He has this, what he calls, an excess amount of joy that he likes to carry through his day in the hopes that it'll rub off on all the people around him and also sustain him through his day, no matter how hard, how tired, how stressed he can get. When I asked him, how do you have the strength to carry this much positivity and joy? He told me about his family. You see, Isaiah was born in India. He um, has never met his biological father and his biological mother died of birth complications during his birth. And the two missionaries who were on the scene and helping to deliver him ended up adopting him and bringing him home to the United States where he would start to live a happy life. His parents, Steve and Dee, instilled in him the values of selflessness, love, kindness, and joy. And when you mix those qualities of empathy, selflessness, love, with the qualities that his military cohorts instilled in him of motivation, tact, and bearing, you have the perfect artist. You have someone who is committed to empathy while telling someone else's story, while also being dedicated, resilient, and driven. If you were to ask Isaiah what his purpose is today, he would tell you that it is up on stage. That is to open people's hearts, minds, and eyes through the performing arts. And while he's up on stage, I can only imagine one thing going through his head. Put 110% into everything you do, even if you fail. And if you fail, fail hard.